Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about differences between C, C++ and Java languages. In the previous videos, we are already discussed about four differences. First one is difference between C and C++. Second one is differences between C++ and Java. Third one is differences between C and Java. And fourth one is differences between Java and Python. If anybody wants these differences, please refer that videos in my YouTube channel, Develop Srinivas Rao. These are the most important and commonly asked interview questions. Now, in this video, what are the main differences between C, C++ and Java languages? That we are discussed in this video. First point is, C language is based on BCPL and B languages. So, that means, so to develop the C language, we have to use two dependent languages. First one is BCPL and the second one is B language. BCPL stands for Basic Combined Programming Language. From that two languages, C language was developed. Next, C++ language is based on only C language. Next, Java language is based on C and C++ language. We can say that C++ is a superset of C and Java is a superset of C++. Next, second point, C language was developed by Dennis M. Rich, whereas C++ language was developed by Bizrain Stoustra and Java language was developed by James Gosling. So, we can say that father of C language is Dennis M. Rich and father of C++ language is Bizrain Stoustra and father of Java language is James Gosling. Next, third point, C is a procedure oriented programming language. So, every C program can be defined in terms of procedures or a functions or a modules. So, hence we can say that C is a procedure oriented programming language. Whereas, C++ is an object oriented programming language. And Java is an pure object oriented programming language. Now, what is the difference between object oriented and pure object oriented programming language? In pure object oriented programming language, to implement any program, we have to use class concept. But whereas in the object oriented programming language like C++, without using class, we are also constructing program. Okay. So, Without using any class, we do not construct in a single program. So, hence we can say that that language is called as pure object-oriented programming language. Here, Java is a pure object-oriented programming language, whereas C++ is only object-oriented programming language. Next one is C language is platform dependent whereas C++ is also platform dependent and Java is platform independent. So what is platform independent? Suppose we are creating one Java program in one operating system. The same program can also work on different operating system. That means we are creating one Java program on Windows operating system. The same Java program is also worked on 
Linux operating system also. So that is called as platform independent. Whereas in the case of platform dependent, suppose we are creating C program on Windows operating system, the same C program cannot be worked on Linux operating system. Hence, we can say that C is platform dependent and also C++ is also platform dependent whereas Java is platform independent. Next one is C language uses top-down approach to design an application. Suppose we have to design an application, C language uses top-down approach. Whereas C++ language and Java language is also use bottom-up approach to design an application. Next one is C language uses 32 keywords in C language whereas C++ there are uh, 60 keywords are there whereas in Java there are 52 keywords in Next one is in C language the code is executed by Turbo C compiler whereas C++ is also we have to use Turbo C++ compiler whereas in Java to execute the code we have to use JVM. JVM means Java Virtual Mission. Okay, so Java uses Java Virtual Mission to execute the code whereas in the case of C and C++ the code is executed directly by the corresponding compiler. Next point is C language generates two types of files. One is .exe file and .bak file. .exe file stands for executable file. .bak file stands for backup files. So C language generates these two types of files dot exe and dot bak files whereas c++ language generates only dot exe files but java language generates only dot class files next one in c language the source file has dot c extension whereas c++ language dot cpp extension and java language has dot java extension so every c program can be saved with file name dot c every c plus plus program can be saved with file name dot cpp every java program can be saved with file name dot java okay Next one is C language supports the pointers concept. C++ also supports the pointer concept but Java does not support the pointer concept because of security reasons. Next one, C language uses a compiler to translate the source code into mission code. Okay. So, to translate the given source program into mission code, we have to use Turbo C compiler. In C++, we have to use Turbo C++ compiler to translate the source code into mission language. But Java language uses both Java compiler and interpreter to execute the Java program. To compile the Java program, we have to use Java C compiler. To execute the Java program, we have to use Java Virtual Machine. Next one, C language does not support exception handling. So exception handling is nothing but handling errors. 
whenever an error is occurred an exception is raised okay so to handle the errors in c lang to handle the errors in c language we do not use exception handling mechanism whereas in c++ we have to use exception handling mechanism whenever an error is occurred java also supports exception handling mechanism through try catch and finally blocks next one c language supports the go to statement c++ also supports the go to statement but java does not support the go to statement go to statement is used for transferring the program control from one location to another location without any condition next one c language does not support the overloading concept and inheritance concept but c++ language supports inheritance concept and method overloading and operator overloading concept okay but java supports only method overloading and inheritance concept so overloading is nothing but same method name with the different parameters okay that means same method name can be used for executing with different parameters that is called as method overloading same operator can be used for different purposes then it can be called as operator overloading plus can be used for different purposes so plus can be used for concatenation of two strings plus can be used for uh, represent whether the given number is a positive number or negative number so plus can be used for different purposes so that is called as operator overloading plus is an addition operator okay plus is also used for performing the addition operation also so plus can be used for three purposes that is called as operator overloading same method can be used for performing different operation okay so add can be used for performing addition between two values add can be performed for addition for perform, uh, ed performing addition operation between floating point numbers okay so in this way method overloading can be used okay c++ supports both method overloading and operator overloading and inheritance concept but java supports only method overloading and also supports inheritance concepts next point is it is c language is widely used for developing drivers and operating systems okay so to develop any operating system we have to use c language to develop drivers we have to use also c language okay suppose we have to play audio video player some drivers are there we have to print on paper in the printer driver is uh, also used so to develop drivers we have to use c language to develop operating systems also we have to use c language to develop system programs we have to use c++ language so mainly c++ language is used for developing system programming next one so java language is used to develop mobile applications web applications android applications so in these applications java language is used next one uh, c language uses dynamic memory allocation functions to allocate memory at runtime so c alloc m alloc realloc free functions so these functions are called as dynamic memory allocation functions to allocate and deallocate memory we have to use these functions 
Whereas in the case of C++, we have to use new and delete operators to manage the memory. Next one here in Java language. So Java uses garbage collector concept to manage the memory. New operator is used for allocating the memory. Delete operator is used for deallocate the memory in C++ language. In C language, free function is used to deallocate the memory. Next one, C language does not support constructor and destructor concept. Constructor is used to, to initialize an object. Okay. But C++ language supports both constructor and destructor. But Java language supports only constructors but does not support destructors. Next one. C language uses preprocessor directives such as hash include hash define. C++ also supports preprocessor directives such as hash include and hash define but java language does not support the preprocessor directives but only supports packages okay so these are the 18 differences between c c++ and java language it is one of the most important concept that can be asked in several interviews in campus placements and also please refer the previous videos differences between C and C++ differences between C++ and Java differences between C and Java differences between Python and Java they are also very very important that can be asked in campus interviews Thank you, thank you one and all for watching this video. If you like this video, please click on the like button and click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my YouTube channel after subscribing my YouTube channel, Divella Srinivasarao. If you have any doubts, please put your doubts in the comment section. I will clarify your doubts. Thank you, thank you one and all for watching this video.